Good morning, my lovelies. I hope that you are all safe and well and happy New Year's Day blessings to you. I'm being a little bit cheeky. I'm actually pre-recording this um, video, so this has not been done 100% live. This is from yesterday, just because I was a little bit unsure how I would be feeling um, today, if I'd be feeling possibly a little bit worse for wear. So just covering off all the bases but I hope that you're having a fantastic uh, New Year's Day, whatever you're getting up to. And um, really excited to sort of welcome in a new sort of uh, time, a new space, a new energy. I'm feeling like really positive that this year is going to be so full of opportunity, full of magic, full of greatness for lots of us. So hopefully it's going to be a really, really cool um, 2023 year ahead. Let's make it the best we kind of can. So I'm going to make some changes to how I would usually do my Taroscope um, monthly guidance videos. I've decided I'm going to work for this year with a completely different deck. So the last couple of years I've worked with the Imrefal Visions Tarot, which is an amazing deck and I will always love that deck. But I fancied a bit of a change. So I'm going to start working with the Bones Arcana Tarot. And the reason why is because I really feel connected with this deck. It's quite a witchy, sort of darker deck. But also what I love about it is being the bones, it kind of gets you to the bones, to the strip, the sort of the uh, stripped back core energy lines of what's happening, what's going on. And instead of using Witch's Runes as a conclusion, I'm going to use my beautiful Wizard Within Oracle deck as a conclusion card, which I think would be pretty cool. So, so yeah, so let's do this. So what we'll do then, we're going to channel the cards for this January. We're going to look at the opportunities that come our way, any obstacles to be kind of aware of, and any lessons or sort of challenges that might be presented. And then we'll follow through with my Wizard Within deck and see what they have to offer as well. And hopefully this will help, this will resonate, this will just make a little bit of sense for you for what's to come this month. So, channeling these cards for the highest of good. I'll know when they're ready because they will just start to pop themselves out. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Some interesting, interesting bits and pieces coming in here. Oops. Okay, so we'll do these first and then I'll channel a, a separate card afterwards. So our card, which represents the opportunities coming in then, we're going into the Four of Swords. Oops, I don't know if you can see that too well. Now, Four of Swords is actually encouraging most of us to take a bit of a rest, to take a little bit of a breather, to step back a little bit from things. Um, so it might be that some of you are working very, very hard at the moment. Maybe some of you have just gone sort of straight from last year into this year and haven't given yourself much of a rest or a breather or a recharge. Mm -hmm. And basically, when we look at this in terms of opportunities, you're being encouraged to take some time out from the world to avoid any burnouts, because sometimes if we just ignore what our sort of... Um, body is needing from us we run the risk of things becoming a little bit sort of um tricky or a bit compromising so do you think that this is encouraging us to stop to be still to take a rest to take a breather not just from physical things but also mentally look at where you've mentally been putting your energy to at the moment and maybe you've been sort of chasing things maybe you've been push 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 with stuff and if that's the case because swords represent our mental mind as well i think there's a need to pull back a little bit, lay your own sword to rest. And by doing that, I think like new opportunities will grow, new opportunities will flourish, and things that maybe are feeling quite restricted or quite heavy might actually start coming good. Because as we're moving forward, we're going into the second card. And this represents any sort of um, things to be kind of cautious of or careful of. We're going into the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is a reoccurring sort of theme that we've had in the Facebook messages recently so it's not overly surprising to see that again basically when we look at this in terms of obstacles some of us might feel a little bit restricted from a financial space some of us might sort of really feel like we can't take our foot off the gas but we kind of need to if we can and this is kind of reminding you that even though it might feel a little bit kind of heavy or a little bit overwhelming at times there is 
this flow of abundance as this flow of prosperity around you and that could be sort of physical monetary stuff it could also be emotional stuff but you know things aren't as bad as maybe they feel to be but some of us may be getting or running the risk with January we could get quite consumed in um, tunnel vision so this card comes in as a bit of a, of a warning almost to say don't get consumed in tunnel vision don't get consumed in the problems or the blockages stay focused on the bigger picture sort of see the bigger picture see what actually is still around and accessible and that comes in like i say from a financial space but also it could be internal revenue and wealth so it isn't always financially necessarily and challenges or lessons we're going into the king of cups King of Cups, keep making your world work for you. This is a card of pure investment. With the Kings and the Court cards, it tends to be what they touch has the power to turn to gold. So I really do see this as a card of self-investment around emotions, certainly. If you know that something doesn't add value to your life, don't start to sort of accept that straight into like a new year. Give yourself permission to sort of put things in place that work for you. The kings represent the masculinity and they make sure they cherry pick the experiences that they're part of. They're not hurting or harming anybody, but they're not going to sort of sacrifice. They're not going to receive lesser energy. They're kings for a reason. So I do feel like you're being encouraged with this card through January to look at the things that add value. Look at the things that add quality to your life. And if there are things that you know are not great it's it's time to move them along you know you can't go into another year with old energy essentially so i think that's being highlighted here a little bit as well now then let's pick a conclusion card from my wizard within deck to see what january holds what it has as a kind of an ongoing theme if you like of what we may need to be looking out for and what we might need to be a bit wary of oops Oh no, one will just pop itself at me. Oh, interesting. We're going into the wizard's owl. Now, the wizard's owl is a messenger. It's almost like this is actually quite interesting. So this could represent new contracts. It could also represent uh, messengers kind of coming to you from an outside space. It could be waiting for news as well. So this is quite an interesting time. So January, you might be sort of putting your manifestations your orders into the universe and then it's almost like sitting back and waiting and watching these things kind of find you there could also be some contracts to be signed throughout january time so be open to opportunities where contracts are concerned um, but definitely this is a card of being a messenger that owl is almost off on a mission to sort of do what needs to be done here to sort of find the way forward so i think that's quite interesting actually so there could be some good news coming in for january for some of you um definitely if you've been waiting for something if you've been sort of waiting for a job offer or something with a house or just other types of legal contract be open to these coming good because essentially this messenger this owl wants to provide that for you so that's quite interesting so I'm going to leave these cards with you. I hope they resonate. I hope they make a little bit of sense. Stay safe, stay well, stay fabulous. Have an amazing January. I've got lots of exciting things that are kind of could be happening and going on. So look out for those as and when they are launched. Um, I'm sure I'll let you know. And um, yeah, just really excited to sort of see and um, connect with some of you lovelies throughout this season. So love and blessings. Stay well, stay safe, stay fabulous. And I'll catch up soon. Bye for now.